hey welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make this custom uh, button component in view I mean this is not a uh, code by code tutorial or I will not be doing any coding I have already done that so this is obviously a long process so I don't want to jump into that right now so uh, let me show you the demo of that so this is a button component and this is the same component so if you click here so it will firstly load and it will change the color then it will say added to cart so you can compare both of these these are all the same components and this is also that same component so but if you click here it will redirect to you, you to the another route okay so how you can make these custom component let me show you the approach and let me open the vs code so uh, first of all uh, so first of all this is our home page and in home page this is my products this is my product products uh, sorry this is in the index view and if you go here so right now I am creating so right now I am getting these products from a fake API and uh, there I am passing through it a component and I'm passing a product as a props and if you go to here product props so i am accepting the product prop here and it is of object type so after that here is a data variable which will be initially false and i have added a method and which is add to code so this will firstly set the loading is equal to true and after two seconds it will set the loading is equal to false and right here i am using the button component so this is my button component so as you can see here in the template i am just rendering this button okay so right now uh, first of all i am passing here add click to cart uh, on click event it will pass a function which is add to cart okay so after like after clicking that so i'm receiving the props here so as you can see on click i am receiving a function type of prop and uh, okay uh, let me go again and in the class name i am accepting a string and uh, in text i am just accepting a string and in loading i am accepting a boolean so as you can see here i write i am receiving all of these text as a string and class name as a string loading as a boolean click as a function and two as a string okay so i have used it here and uh, there was a so the same component i used here let me show you so here if i go to hero and if i go here so as you can see button so i have passed passed the two prop and as you can see it here where it is so in two i am accepting a string so after like whatever it will be it will redirect to that to to that path okay so as same i am passing class name and text and loading okay and uh, so uh, what you have to do is first of all receive all of your props and set a local uh, local state object on no or a boolean which is success and uh, like after clicking that button i want it to be disabled while it is loading so i have uh, i have passed this is disabled it is a computer property so this is a computer property and it will return true or false based on the loading which we will pass here and if that will be true that it will be disabled the button will be disabled okay and the class name says itself so whatever my class name will be it will uh, the classes will be passed here and I have added a flex and justify center and I am using backticks for interpolation of these uh, dynamic classes and if the button will be loading the border will be uh, if the button will be loading then there will be no border okay if the button is not loading then border will be of uh, two width okay and if and if the button is still loading then there will be no class else it uh, if it will be success then it will be uh, background green okay else there will be nothing 
so if the button becomes success then it will change the text into green and border into green and uh, else if the button is not success i mean on the initial state it will do background purple and text into purple and border also purple as you can see here so first of all our class uh, it is hover purple and if I click here so it will load and it is added to cart okay and how I change the text let me show you and uh, okay I have added these if else directive here so if the button is loading then it will uh, display this uh, loading spinner and if the, if it is not loading it will show uh, if if it is not loading then it will check if the success is true then it will say added to cart else it will say whatever the text we will pass through the props okay so this is and uh, so right now uh, the click function is not uh, like required okay you can this is an op optional prop for this component okay and two is also uh, not required so it is also optional so whatever you will pass so these are the two different but uh, how you can achieve this dynamic so whatever what you have to do is you have to make a custom function and pass to the click event of this button okay so what this click function will do if it will check if there is something in the click so if it is not undefined or null and then it will say this dot click um uh sorry <laughs> if this will if this will be there then it will say okay uh whatever whatever we will pass through the click prop okay this will be executed and else if uh else if this dot two this dot two will be passed then it will say this dot router dot push then this dot two okay so this is how you can uh, uh yeah, this is how this is the approach uh this is, might not be the best but uh, this will work okay so let me show you again if i click here then it is loading and you can see it here it's working and uh, if i add to cart it will load the spinner which is here if it is loading then load this spinner else it, it will show you the text okay back so you got the idea okay so this is how you can make a custom button component with custom classes and uh, with dynamic classes and dynamic events and uh, dynamic like uh, state like it is it should be disabled or not